Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I am an adrenal burnout recovery expert and I want to welcome you back to another edition of your Adrenal Fix. Today let's talk about adrenal fatigue cures. Is there such a thing as an adrenal fatigue cure? First of all, the word cure is really, really, really difficult in the world of medicine and, and healthcare um, because it really miraculously means that you get rid of something that may be infiltrating your entire body. And so I don't ever like to, word the, like to use the word cure because you're not ever 100% out of the woods with anything that you do. So you don't really use the word cure. Um, but as far as recovery goes and making sure that you avoid the fatigue and the exhaustion and the motivation problems and not getting up with energy and not being able to sleep and not being uh, excited and, and energetic to do the things you want to do, I do believe that there's ultimately a, um, a solution to recover and do the things that you want to do. So that's number one. Number two. Let's get into whether or not you even know you have an adrenal f fatigue problem because many patients that I consult with have never heard of the word adrenal fatigue. And so they search on the internet uh, how to have more energy, their symptoms like exhaustion or burnt out or insomnia or crash around 3 p.m. or brain fog. And then they ultimately come to learn about adrenal fatigue. And then they go see their doctor and they say, hey, I heard about adrenal fatigue. And their doctor says, there's no such thing as adrenal fatigue. So do you have it? Do you not have it? What is it? Is it such a real thing? How do you do? How do you get better? Those are all the questions that I like to answer on my videos. Now, I have a great here, uh, questionnaire here that I always have my patients fill out. And, and what I'll do is I'll actually attach it to um, my adrenal uh, f uh, fan page. Um, you can check underneath the link here on this video. Um, but let's go over some of these questions. So these are the questions that we always ask patients that may be suffering from too high adrenal gland problems, which would be an acute stress response and you're sweating and you're anxious and you're, you're racy or too low of adrenal problem, meaning you're just crashing throughout the entire day. Or sometimes you could have a little bit of both where it's called a maladaptive phase. And here's some of the questions that we ask. Cannot be able to sleep. So ask yourself, do you have any of these problems? Cannot be able to, cannot stay asleep, crave salt, slow starter in the morning, afternoon fatigue, dizziness when standing up quickly, afternoon headaches, headaches with exertion or stress, weak nails. Those would all be signs of, of too little of an adrenal problem. Or cortisol problems. Here's another one of too too much cortisol. Cannot stay asleep, perspires easily, under high amounts of stress, weight gain under stress, wake up tired even after six hours of sleep, excessive perspiration or perspiration with little or no activity. Those are all good examples of people that suffer with an adrenal an adrenal fatigue problem. But more subjectively, people that suffer with an adrenal fatigue problem, they have no energy in the morning no matter how much they sleep. They get up, they're not even hungry, they're a bit nauseous, um, they don't eat regular meals, they miss breakfast, or they wait a lot of hours between the next meal. They rely on coffee or stimulants or sugary foods to, to get their energy. They get shaky, lightheaded, or jittery if meals are missed, and they get energized when they do have ener when they do eat, or they may even crash when they have a meal. Um, and then they, they don't have a lot of motivation, they have forgetful uh, and short-term and even long-term memory disturbances. They have uh, more energy at night. They can't stay asleep. They can't fall asleep. They wake up exhausted. And they're just overstressed. I mean, they're just not bouncing the back the way they want. What is a realistic time frame for suffering with adrenal fatigue and getting some improvements? It's really hard to answer that question because there's so many reasons for adrenal fatigue. One of the th reasons could be just that you have a stressful life. So you're, you're a student maybe and you have exams and you have um, deadlines or you have to-do lists or you have papers that are due or cramming or you're um, in a job and, and you have same thing, you have deadlines, you have a, a nasty boss, your employees give you stress. You're in a marriage that there's a lot of bickering and yelling at and being blamed and being told what to do. You have kids that are stressing you, have parents that need to be taken care of, you know, finances and bills that are due that aren't necessarily going to get paid. These are ways that will just completely drain your adrenal stress account. And 
ultimately, they, there's the cure to that is fixing these adrenal stressors in your life. So how do you how do you deal with some of these things? Do you do you get anxious even more, or do you have a calm resolve about you? Do you um, put off things that need to get done today, or do you address them right away and and try to get rid of these little fires on a day to day basis? Those are things that ultimately a doctor, a pill, a subscription, a supplement, uh, a eating a way of eating is not going to fix because those are things that are always going to be there. So you definitely need to look in the mirror and say, how can I address these? Eliminate them, ask for help, put them off, or at least try to minimize the impact that they're playing on my body. Number two, so with those people, if they can address those things right away, then they'll see that they'll have a, a nice recovery. However, when it's usually patients that are fatigued, exhausted, and have a chronic problem, they have other th sources of inflammation in their body. And these are the ones that are going to take a little bit longer. So these people have chronic candida or chronic fungus infections or chronic metals or heavy metal toxicities in their body. They may have Lyme disease. They may have Epstein-Barr uh, virus. They may have other viruses. They may have H. pylori. They may have leaky gut or intestinal permeability or they have food sensitivities, or they have all of these things. So number one, you need to identify these things and remove them so that you can reduce the burden on your adrenal glands and help them recover. Uh, also, the other thing that we need to address, which you hear me speak of all the time, is stabilizing your blood sugars throughout the day. And so more of you guys don't even realize you have a blood sugar problem because it's not high, it's actually low. And when it's too low, what happens is your adrenal glands interpret that as a very stressful event and then they secrete cortisol to stabilize your blood sugar and cortisol is the main hormone that's faltering and it's not being able to keep up with supply. So one of the things that I suggest as my adrenal fatigue cure, if you will, is a carb cycling diet. And that's what we'll be talking about in my upcoming book, Adrenal Fatigue Recovery, a metabolic reboot. And that's soon to be released. In that book, I'm going to be talking about carb cycling. So this is a protocol where really all you're doing in the morning is you're drinking water. And if you get really, really hungry, you're having low glycemic fruits like blueberries or strawberries or raspberries and then you're really not eating until about 11 12 o'clock I know that's anti-intuitive to what you've been told um, and it's really difficult for someone that has blood sugar stabilization issues but the problem is is when you eat a carbohydrate um, rich pro um, source in the morning like uh, sugary food um, bagels buns, breads, sweet stuff, um, you're just causing a, a continual insulin spike, which in the morning is the worst thing to do. So we talk about eating healthy carbohydrates um, at, at around three o'clock and then cycling different foods throughout the day, and we'll get into that as well. The other thing you need to realize is that these sources of inflammation can be controlled through proper supplementation and dietary foods as well. So we talk about that, and that's another thing that you need to focus Focus on. And then lastly, I like to get into a stress relieving protocol that will help reduce the spasms and the tension in the muscles and also try to jumpstart your cortisol awakening response so that you have a real high um, res uh, resolve or a real high output of cortisol in the morning and then a real low cortisol at night. And that's the slope that you want to see. You want to have high and low. So you want to jump out of the bed like a, ba like a, like a, a rock star if you will, have the energy to accomplish your to-do list before um, the midday, and then just basically fall asleep like a baby in the morning. So hopefully you found this edition of your Adrenal Fix really um, informative. Um, if you liked what I had to say, then please give it a thumbs up, a share, or a comment. Be sure to check out my Facebook page and like that as well so you can follow along my timely um, helpful hints or check out my new blog Adrenal Fatigue Society where you'll be able to opt into my um, my emails and I can give you a lot of helpful hints. Welcome again and my name is Dr. Joel Rosen and I look forward to helping you in your adrenal fatigue nightmare. Thank you so much.